After years of dominating the fashion and footwear industries with unique styles and creativity, Ye is rewriting the rules of business and innovation with the relaunch of Yeezy, which will redefine the fabric of success. Apparently, Yeezy is expanding to its scope, booming a dynamic multi business empire as it will no longer be limited to fashion alone, but will now serve as a hub for a diverse range of more innovative ventures, products, and experiences. That's right, and according to how Ye is known to create and design his products and experiences onto more of a futuristic and unique style, then with this, I can clearly and proudly say that he is determined to challenge the status quo and revolutionize the way that we live, work, and play. So let's get into this and explore each and everything that Ye has new for us. This great news comes after some bad news, which recently came from Yeezy that Ye had fired most of his Yeezy workers and that there was a mess at the headquarters, a mess that ended up also seeing Milo Yiannopoulos, who was the chief of staff, leave Yeezy. That wasn't all because that mess also ended up claiming the life of his most anticipated Yeezy app that was supposed to be his official music streaming platform. That was sad and most people including myself thought that it would be a major setback to the company because with no workers, Ye can't really do anything by himself. But well, it seems like out of the rock bottom there rose some greatest things ever to happen to Yeezy because just like I mentioned, Yeezy is no longer going to be your typical fashion brand but a multi-business empire. There were recently added some major changes to the Yeezy the official website where there was added some other ventures. Yeezy has just added new pages to their website, the pages which are for Yeezy food, shelter, sound, and content. Now these ventures aren't totally new to Ye because he had all these businesses but under different names. For instance, for food, he was under KW Foods LLC which owns a fat burger chain of restaurants in Chicago and his shelter business was under Yeezy Home. But it all looks like a rebranding where everything is now set to be under Yeezy. Anyways, starting with the food part, Ye has always had an interest in the food business even as early as 2007 where he presented his idea of launching a burger chain. Years later, in 2022, he announced that he is redesigning the McDonald's food packaging with more of an imaginary design. Finally, in June 2023, Ye kinda made a soft relaunch to his food business, controversially presenting food on naked women's body on his birthday, which is famously known to be a Japanese practice called Nyotaimori, where sushi and sashimi is served off a naked woman's body. A little while after that, he hosted an official tasting event in Tokyo, which in my opinion had Ye written all over it because of the ambience and the mood that was set at the event. Which by the way, is one of the things I like about Ye and all his businesses, something which might even lead to the success of all his ventures, that he keeps his brand and aesthetics of minimalism and tone down, which makes his products and experiences stand out in the crowds that, that anywhere you see it, you can easily recognize that that belongs to Ye. Anyways, after all that history with food, it looks like he is giving it a new blood, now and a Yeezy, which will even be better. Next is his shelter business. Just like food, Ye had always had an interest in shelter or real estate business, where in 2018 he built multiple domes which were aimed to be economically sustainable, prefabricated housing for homeless people, but was unfortunately taken down by the government a few months later. Last year, he also announced to the world that he would build a 100,000 acre city in the Middle East called Droam. So with him now coming with the same idea on his website, it means that we should expect much more futuristic designs because when he was recently at the Justin Laboy podcast, he said that he wants 
wants to reveal the way that we were, that we are supposed to exist, saying that the city is supposed to look like ant colonies. So we don't know yet what to expect from Ye in real estate this year or anytime soon. But whatever it is, will be so futuristic and amazing. The remaining content and sound pages that were added on his Yeezy website were not really clear as to why, at what businesses exactly they will accommodate, but there were, but they are a couple of guesses. First of all, for the sound page, it has a kind of a timer set which only gives the impression that, that they will release some kind of media in the future. If I was to take a guess, I would say that maybe Vultures too may drop there because if you did not know, his Yeezy app is now scrapped and according to how much he is done with streaming platforms, it would be fair to assume that Vultures 2 may be released there. However, there are many possibilities for these two pages because it might even be where the Yeezy Adult Films releases. Yes, that's right. After being much more hyped that, that Yeezy Adult Films business was cancelled because Ye deleted the announcement of his social media, Inside sources recently came out and say that the project is very much alive and did not go anywhere. So with all that up in the air, anything media related can be put on those websites, on those two pages of sound and contents. That's not all because some other people think that we can host music and even Vulture's one album, all of which are currently sitting at the bottom of the Yeezy app, including the music video, Talking featuring Northwest. So the possibilities are many for these pages. It is only a matter of time to finally know what is going to be there. Anyways, I don't think that that's all that Ye has in store for people because recently there emerged a cyber truck that many people were convinced that belonged to Yeezy, which goes for $1.2 million. So basically, Ye might not be releasing music now, but he's so busy working on his businesses. With Yeezy's expanded scope now, the company is set to be a global powerhouse transcending borders and industries. By diversifying its portfolio, Yeezy will tap into new markets, unlock remarkable growth potential, and cement its status as an influential empire. This strategic move will not only solidify, solidify Ye's position as a visionary entrepreneur, but also will propel him back into the coveted billionaire's club once again. That's not all because apart from serving millions of customers with products and experiences, Yeezy will also employ thousands of workers, which will overall improve the lives of everyone related to them. However, while many of his fans are excited for all these developments, some others are currently only focused on the album. As one fan wrote, Bro is working on P, food, housing and content but has stopped the music. Another one wrote, Ye is doing everything but dropping Vulture's due. Anyways, thank you for watching. As we keep an eye on Ye and all his upcoming ventures, let's keep in touch. Tell me how you feel about these ventures that he's soon launching and what you think about them. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to keep updated on all the latest news and updates.